Hello everybody and welcome to Farming Simulator 22. This is my first video and before we get too far into it I must just say thank you so much to Giants for the early access opportunity. So to make very clear I'm not being paid by Giants to produce this video but of course I do get the benefit of having the early access uh, to share on the channel. So very supportive and a big thank you to them. Right so first things first we have the dynamic main menu as you can see, it's cycling through the seasons, that being one of the main new features of the game. Now, the plan of action for this particular video is to show you all of the new features. So we're going to get straight into career mode, and we're going to be able to see the two new maps. There is also the Erlengrat map as well. So we have many empty slots that we can choose from. So you can have loads of saved games. We're just going to go with the first one. It makes sense. You can then have easy, medium, and hard difficulty. I'm going to go with easy, as this is like a demonstration. Uh, we have Elm Creek. This is our USA map. If we go across, we have this one. Now, it looks like it's pronounced Hort Baileron, but it actually isn't. And my pronunciation is also incorrect, but it's closer than Hort Baileron. It's something along the lines of O Bailu or something like that. Um, it is our French map, Mediterranean themed. And finally, we have Erlingrat. So for this particular video, since we have played on Erlingrat before, and I'm going to be playing on that many times in the future, we're going to be focusing on these two here. So let's get started with the European map. Right, okay, so the moment the game has loaded, you can press start, and it will allow you to create your character. Now, I'm currently called Admin, which doesn't seem the appropriate name to have for this series. We'll call ourselves Dagwin, there we go. Change the name, and you can see we have lots of different faces that we can go for here. Just show you a few of these. Of course, you can change the hair and everything. So we're going to go with that one, I think. Hairstyles. As I say, I'm not going to spend too long on this. It would be very easy to spend a long time on it. You can also select a color. I think we'll go with a relatively natural looking color. Okay. Although, actually, most of them are fairly natural. Uh, select that. Beards. Okay, we'll go with that one there. Mustaches. I will choose that one. Outfits. Now, of course, you can change your outfits uh, midway through gameplay to suit the job that you're doing. So, in this case, spraying or if you're doing some chainsawing. I think probably, I'm not, of course, bee suit as well if you're doing, uh, looking after bees, beekeeping. I think, however, I'm going to choose a separate top and separate bottom. So uh, you can have branded merchandise, branded clothes here. I'm going to go with this one here. And for bottoms, it's always good to have some work trousers. Yep, we'll go with them. And shoes. Wellington boots. You can have work boots. They seem to fit in very well. I wish I could spend longer on this, but this is already going to be a very long video. And I'm going to have loads of videos coming out very soon. Right, headgear. So there's chainsaw helmets. Caps. Different helmets here. That's for the ATV. I think I'm going to go with... Just the standard baseball cap. Call me boring, but we're going to have so many of these different configurations uh, used in the future. So, gloves. Again, gloves aren't really required for this particular video, but if we were chainsawing, we could put some chainsaw gloves on. If we're doing uh, work with chemicals, we've got these gloves. Just everyday gloves. But we're going to go without. But we will put some glasses on. So we can look very stylish. Uh, actually, yeah, that's... That's not too bad. Um, I, <laughs> I'm going to go with that one, though. There we go. Um, right. So I'm very happy with the selection that I have made. I think I'm going to confirm it. And we are brought straight into the game. I'm not going to take the guided tour, since I've played Farming Simulator many times before. And I must just point out that I have never played Farming Simulator 22 before. This is the first time I've loaded up the game. So this is brand new. Brand new for me and brand new for you. So I think it's going to make sense just to have a very quick guided tour. Uh, here's our little workshop. 
and you can see that we can uh, head back into the house and we can change what we're wearing, change our appearance. We have a pickup truck and we have in this field here a Massey Ferguson tractor, a 3670. This is everything that you start off with. There's also a small cultivator on the back. Over there we have a combine harvester. Here is our main yard. The house has some outdoor seating. You can look through the windows. Uh, yeah, so we've got the grain silo for storing our grains. A silage pit for when doing silage work. It looks like we have a hayloft. Let's just check. Yep, hayloft there. The silo is empty. So you tip your hay, sends it up the blower into the loft. And that will be for emptying it again, so you can use the hay. In our shed, we have a stayer tractor, 8150 turbo, a Welga trailer, and a header trailer for the Deutzfahr combine just over there. Okay, so this is a water tank. Water will be required for the animals, and I would have thought for the production chains as well, greenhouses. I'm very tempted to go on a full tour, but I'm going to probably do a separate video uh, doing a map tour because it's just not hard to uh, make this video extremely long without showing much. If I get onto harvesting, for example, I could spend over half an hour doing that easily. So I think what I'm going to do before we really get going with any kind of tractor work is just take a look at the heads up display. So we've got the mini map here, or the map. Uh, as you can see, this is our main yard. And you even have the different icons for the different types of machine. It's not just a dot. So, combine harvester, tractor. Oh yeah, we've got the uh, Voucher, Voucher Valmet tractor there. The Massey Ferguson, and of course the stair just there. Then we have the farmhouse, the silos, the hayloft, and the water tank. And we own 38, 40, and 41. If I just zoom out very quickly, you can see that we don't own anything else. It shows you how vast this map really is. So there's one thing that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, the whole time I've still been waiting for this game. I want to see some wildlife, some deer. Of course we have a bird here. But where am a deer? I want to see some deer. So yeah, obviously the same as within real life. You wouldn't just expect to see one straight away. Oh, there's one. There is one. We have deer. There we go. There's quite a few of them. Clearly, they didn't want to see me. Anyway, moving on with our little quick tour. We then have active workers. Obviously, we don't have any workers at the moment, but this is the active worker page. Uh, the crop calendar, so you can see when to plant and when to harvest different crops. And then we have the weather forecast. Now, this will be very handy to have. Now, you'll notice that currently, uh, we have one day per season. You can change this. We'll come on to that in a second. We then have our prices. Vehicle overview. So it shows you how old the machine is, how many hours it's got, how much wear, the cost. Uh, finances. They're all here so you can see all your farm finances. No animals yet, but they'll all appear here. All the information about them. Different contracts so you can make money working for other people. Currently we have a harvesting contract on offer and two spraying ones as well. And you can see we actually have the farmer here. And then we have production chains. Again, we're going to be coming on to this later. So many videos coming up very soon about all of that. This is just an overview video. Statistics. And then we have the game settings. Obviously I'm not going to cover everything here, just the things which are really new to FS22. So first of all we have seasonal growth. This turns on a growth calendar that adheres to the seasons and the withering of plants. Planting is only possible when the crop can reach maturity. So you can pause this or you can turn it off altogether if you want to. It's totally up to you. It just really depends how realistic you want to be with this. If you're really casual, turn it off. Days per month. Now as I said we are currently set to 1, but this can be increased substantially all the way up to 28. 28 days, there we go. You'd probably set 28 days if you're somebody who has a very realistic playstyle. A fixed visual month, so you can actually set a specific month as you can see here. I think actually I might keep that on. You can see things changing in the background. If we go to March, look at the trees. 
But yeah, I think I would say we're probably in about July now. Snow, yeah. Snow falls on the ground and can be moved by vehicles on or off. And then yes, this is what I wanted to get to. The gearboxes. You can now have a gear shifter. So you can have manual, manual with clutch, or automatic. Of course, this will depend as well on the machine itself. It has to have a manual transmission if you're driving in manual. So I'm gonna go with manual for the purpose of this video. And then as well with this, you can have automatic or manual direction change. Uh, I'm gonna go with automatic, it's just gonna be easier. Without any further ado, let's jump into this combine harvester. We will attach the header. Uh, you can see I'm currently set to kilometers per hour. And uh, I'm just gonna unfold the combine harvester. We are in neutral, but if I accelerate by pressing the accelerator pedal, yeah, we have automatically gone into drive. There is also force feedback on the steering wheel. I think I'm gonna disable it for my playthrough just so there's no uh, contamination of noise into the microphone. So I will just do a little bit of harvesting. We're just gonna go around probably once because this is not a let's play. I wanna show you all of the new features. So we can't really be spending that long doing this. Having said this, my let's play series will be starting in just a few hours. So it's gonna be out very, very soon. Uh, keep an eye on my channel and you'll see loads and loads of videos, probably some garage tours. I'm hoping to get loads of content out for you. And behind we have a swath ready for the baler. Now I must just point out I have uh, pretty much copied my audio settings across from FS19. So I don't know if it's too quiet. It seems like it probably is quieter. So I might need to tweak those a bit. Once I've edited this video, I know exactly how it sounds. So uh, yeah, don't you don't need to worry about letting me know about that. I just have to fine tune all those settings. Right, so I wanna now look at the lights. We have a beacon up there. And we have the headlights. Clearly not the time of day to be uh, checking lights, but I was just interested to see what they look like. Right, so we'll get back down here. I'll start up the stair tractor, and then we'll just unload into the uh, trailer. And then I want to show you something else. I want to move on to the greenhouses. I actually have loads of stuff to show you today, so each section can't be too long. Okay, there we go. Lovely. So there's a massive Ferguson. Here's our Valtra Valmet 8750. It's got a seed drill on the back. And here is our stair tractor. So this tractor does have gears. So it's currently neutral. I'm gonna use numpad plus to put it into gear one. And then at a natural feeling time, I can shift up. Certainly gonna to have to rely on the engine sound a bit. Okay. And there we go unloading into the trailer. So yeah, I'm not gonna to focus too much on these because I will have the video out, the first Let's Play video out, in just a few hours. So we'll be uh, looking at these anyway. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now going to place a greenhouse very close to here. Okay, then, so if I press P, might as well start from the top. We'll come on to the uh, placing of the greenhouse in just a second. We have all the different machines that you can buy. Again, I'm going to come on to all these in a separate video in the very, very near future. So we'll be looking at all these in very close detail. So many different machines to look at. There we go. Implements, all the different implements that will go onto the back of machines. Objects, so fertilizer bags, different pallets, bales, packs. So if you have, for example, the grape pack, everything that's required to do grape work 
is in here. So the tractors, the harvesters, the uh, the vineyard equipment. Use machinery. Right, okay, so we can now buy used machines, but only machines that are currently available. So it's not going to be a, a, a huge selection, uh, which is why you do have to think pretty quick when something that you want comes up for sale. So you can see we've got some uh, fairly substantial discounts here. 60% off, 58% off the combine, 56 off the trailer, uh, which is going to add up to a substantial saving. And then we have all the information about these machines. So you can see the combine, for example, has 34.8 hours on it. Right. These are our owned items, everything that we own, leased items, and then others. This is where we want to be. So we do want to be in construction, but first of all, there's the wardrobe. Uh, if we had animals, we could go into the animal dealer. And farmland, again, buy and sell. You can see the price for the different plots of land at the bottom here. Right, okay, so construction. Like I said, that's where we want to be. We want to be in production, but we also have the placing of buildings, so shed silos, silo extensions, containers, tools, farmhouses, all that sort of stuff. Productions, uh, greenhouses are there as their own category. Animals, so horses, pigs, sheep, cows, chickens, bees, and other. That'd be the dog. And there's the bees. Decorations, fences, lights, other decorations. And there's landscaping, so you can raise, lower, and flatten or level terrain. And painting. Trees, oh yes, we can place trees and plants. Okay, so yes, my goal was to place a greenhouse. We shall do that. We shall put it just here. I think I'm very happy with it just there. It has charges £14 extra to do a bit of terrain work, a bit of levelling. So you can see water is required. And if we open the door, we can go inside and we can manage it. So, incoming materials, water, outgoing, tomatoes, lettuce and strawberries. So, very simple stuff. Just add water. Okay, so it's an opportunity to use the Matty Ferguson tractor. Let's just put it in reverse. Just lower that implement there. Detach it. Change gears. Put the weight on the front. Just look down. You see the gear stick moving. I'm on my way. Going over to the store. Okay, indicate left. Come down the gears. Oh, I need to get this up, set up properly on a shifter. Right, and when we get to the store, I'll show you what it looks like in the store page. We have so much stuff to get through. Right, so here we are. On the right hand side. As you can see, I have already purchased it. Get that attached. There we go. And if we were going to buy something like a tractor, for example, we can pull it straight into the store page. It will load up and here are all the different configurations. So you can change it all. You can look around. And the information about it is on the left hand side. And there's the price. You can lease it. Uh, how much does it cost to lease then? That would be £19,890. Right, let's get back to the farm. Earlier in the video, I found the water source. Lots of trees. And this is where we need to be. And here comes a car. Oh, it's turning. Right. So as you can see, I pressed R. We're filling it with water. I'll take it over to the greenhouse. And we can start growing some fruit. That should be enough. I can now take it over to the greenhouse. And I can empty it into this water storage container. 
There we go. So if I go inside, we should see... Yep, water is incoming. And activate. I have activated the tomatoes. Of course we have lettuce and strawberries as well. And it shows the recipe. And I'm currently set to selling, but you can also store or distribute. Change the output mode just here. Okay, so there we go, that's the greenhouses very quickly. But of course, you probably want to see the new crop types. So, we shall move on to them straight away. We're going to start off with grapes. There's also olives and sorghum. So what we really could do with is an appropriate piece of land to put these grapes onto. I'm just looking around, Fenimber 18 looks to be available. So I'm going to purchase that. Yep, that seems like a very appropriate field. Very big for just a test, but not to worry. So into construction. And then into, from buildings we need to go to production and orchards. And you can see we have our vineyards and our olive groves. So, yeah, it is actually the wrong time of year. But you can turn it off, like I said before. You would not plant these in August. So you can see I am planting these. There we go. Just a test just to demonstrate it. Right, and yeah, obviously they don't come cheap. These are gonna make us quite a bit of money. In my Let's Play, I'm gonna try and get onto the olive and grape work as quickly as possible, because uh, they take time, they take work to get them good, but you can see they're growing, fertilized 50%. So with the olive groves, let's just see here. I'm going to place some of these as well. There we go. Just do three. But yeah, my goal is just to show you the different things that you can do in Farming Simos 22. And again, they're growing. Fertilized 50%. But obviously, they need to be maintained. Need to be looked after, cared for. And to harvest these, you would use the New Holland Broad 9070L. That's for the grapes. And for the olives, you would use the New Holland Broad 9090X. So they do look very similar. Of course, you have to buy the correct one for the crop that you're doing. Otherwise, it's going to get expensive. So yeah, I can't wait to get onto these in the Let's Play. As I said, the Let's Play is starting today. I'm just going to reattach this cultivator, because the next thing I want to show you... Uh, it's the uh, the rocks. The rocks that come out of the ground when you are cultivating. And you can collect those rocks up. Okay. So here we go. It's very fluffy soil. So I'm not going to be... Uh, trying to be super neat. You can see a few rocks just came out of the ground then. Although I will try and be a bit neater than this. So what we need to do is get a rock picker. And of course that's the other thing, you do need to make sure you're in the correct gear when doing cultivation work or pulling something very heavy. Yeah, gear 2 does not like gear 2. We must stick in gear 1. So there you go, there's some rocks. What I will do is I'll put this on a worker, we'll go and get a rock picker and we can start clearing the place up. I think the best tractor to use will be the Valtra Valmet. Right, so setting a worker by pressing H. You can see we have a different driver there who's actually even changing gear. Right, and now for the Valtra. Again, this tractor has gears. I, th I think I'm in low. 
super low. Using keypad 7 and 9, we can cycle from low, medium, and high. So I'm in high 1. I'm going to go back over to the dealership to purchase my stone picker. Going to gear 4. Yeah, a great way of knowing when to change gear is by listening to the engine. If you listen to the sound it's making, you'll know roughly when the best time is to change gear. Okay. I don't know how strict it's going to be about shifting down, but I think it's probably a good idea to shift down. So we can now purchase the stone picker. We have three. I'm going to use the 550. This one here. Again, you can change the wheel brand. Sometimes you'll be able to change the wheel setup as well. Purchase that. Money is no object for the first look video. Drive over to it. Get that attached to the back. And we're off. Let's go and see how many rocks have turned up in the field. Ooh, look at that car. Absolutely flying. So we need to unfold it. Press X. You can see we have a fill gauge, currently nothing obviously because it's brand new. Press B, lower that, and well I suppose you could just swerve around going to pick up the ones that you see, but maybe some hidden ones under the surface. Quite a good load there. Take a look. Coming up again. I've collected 9%, 199 litres. Head back down. And you can see they are collecting in the back there. So it looks as though you could probably cover quite a substantial amount of, it, amount of land uh, before you have actually filled it up. And it's got a pretty decent working width, so you could probably whiz over a field pretty quickly. Right, so as I said before, we do have many things to cover, and many more things to cover. If I was to do everything in depth in just this one video, this video would be probably about four hours long. So that's what the Let's Plays are for. There's going to be so many episodes. I think this is going to be a great opportunity to leave the EU map behind for this video and head over to the USA map. So here we go again, Elm Creek. I'm just gonna pick a character really, really quickly. I'll show you which one I've made. There we go. We'll confirm the selection. No, we don't want it at all. And yeah, as I said before, my first time, this is my first time on this map as well. So it looks like we have the same Deutz Fahr Combine Harvester. Pretty equal, different pickup truck equal to the other map. And on here we have, where are we? We're here. Fill number 44, 45 and 46. And there's our combine, which we just saw waiting in this field. Oh look, and just over the road we have Garrison's, the fuel station, which we saw in some of the uh, blog posts. We also start off with a John Deere 4755. Here's the interior view. On the back we have the same cultivator as before, uh, a John Deere 7810, again here is the interior view. And we also have the Massey Ferguson which we had on the EU map. There's the pickup truck. 
and the combine. So very balanced between this map and the other map. But what I want to show you is beekeeping. So yeah, we have bees for the first time. And uh, yeah, I believe actually if you place these next to certain crops, you can really benefit from it. it increases the yield. It's, it does say here actually. If you place a beehive near fields with certain crops, it will also slightly increase the yield. So we'll put it here. So here we have the honey pallet. You can actually see it stood there. Um, I think about here will be suitable. There we go. And the honey will spawn at the pallet location, which quite clearly is just here. So if I just increase the rate of time, we should see that we are producing honey. I must just point out as well, this was the cheapest beehive I could have gone for. There are many more. Look at that, 33 hives there. Wow, <laughs> that's not even the biggest. That's just 10 hives. Lots of bees. So yeah, I can certainly see the potential um, for this to really make you a lot more money if you're putting it next to a crop. And there we go, we have our first pallet of honey. Well, the first crate on a pallet. Obviously, the longer you leave it, the more you get. In the prices page, you can see we have three different stations and you can even see the price fluctuations as well. This will definitely give you a good idea of when to sell. Now this cereal factory over here is the place which is currently offering the best price. So I'm gonna take it over there. Let's get this pickup truck started up. And yep, we do have gears as well. This must have quite a few gears. Now I know this palace is nowhere near full, but again, it's just a demonstration. We have 109 kilograms, 34 liters. Get that strapped in. Usually you'd only take it if it was full. I'm gonna try my best to make my way to the cell point without getting too lost. Okay, seems pretty quiet around here. I think it's my first turning. Oh yeah, wrong side of the road. First turning on the left, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so anyway. Bit of other traffic around here. Might have gone wrong. Oh no, that's fine. Right, how many gears do we have? Six. Six gears. Uh, making a top speed of 74 miles per hour. So here we are. I have tagged the location. So we do have the green beacon. Eighty-eight pounds. And of course you can produce different products as well. For example, if you're making the cake, you would have the flour, you produce the flour, and also strawberries, you grow strawberries for the topping. So there's a lot more to cover with the production chains, but it'd be so much easier just to do that whilst doing a let's play. Now this crop you see here is a sorghum crop. This is a sorghum field. It's not quite ready to harvest, but this is one of the three new crop types in FS22. The other two being grapes and olives. So at some point in the future, we're gonna be growing sorghum and you would harvest this with a combine harvester. I forgot to mention this earlier, but yeah, with the stones, if you don't want to have to pick up the stones, you can just simply turn them off. The same with periodic plowing, lime, weeds, and crop destruction. These can all just be switched off if you're not interested. We have a few used machines up for sale here as well. It looks like you can actually preview them too. 
So of course we have more than bees. We have chickens, sheep, pigs, horses and cows. So I'm going to buy some sheep just very quickly. Just so that we can take a look at how fluffy they are. I remember the blog about the fluffy sheep. So uh, let's, let's have a look at them. Obviously there's two ways of doing this. You can go and pick them up yourself with a livestock trailer. Or you can buy them. So oh, we have uh, quite a few different types here. I'm going to go with different ages too. Yeah, they provide wool. I'm going to buy this one here. Yep. So if I just increase the amount, we'll get 20. Yes, I do want to purchase 20. We've been charged an extra fee for transportation since I didn't pick them up myself. And here they are. Hello, sheep. Yep, you look pretty fluffy. Now I've seen the sheep, I want to see the cows. <laughs> In fact, we just, I don't know if I've got enough space, but yes, I will probably try and see all the animals. So of course, yeah, there's different types of sheep as well. It's just that was the one I went for. So we probably can't go with a building every time as I really don't have the space, but let's go for cow, oh crikey. Um, yeah, let's put the cows over here. As for the horses, we can pop them over here. Pigs, they can go here. And then we mustn't forget the chickens, they can go here as well. So I'm just gonna purchase everything. Pretty simple. Uh, you, can, you can get a rooster, shall, shall we get a rooster? I don't know if um, it gives you a recommended amount. Is it start with 20? I'm going to get one. And then we have two different types of chickens here. Age, zero months, or six months. Let's go with the six month old ones. Again, we'll go with 20. And there we have the chickens and a rooster. Yeah, I think I'm going to get animals pretty quickly in my Let's Play. Right, moving on. We have the pigs. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with uh, this one here. There we go. They seem happy in their grass. What's that one doing? And then we have the horses. Uh, right, let's go for this one here. Don't know if I want 20. Five, yeah, we'll go with five. They have names. Okay, so we've got the horses. And of course, I am just very, very quickly looking at these, but you have to do work with them, ride them, increase the health, fitness, increases their value. And then over here, I was just playing around with the landscaping tool there, just raising the ground a bit. You can raise it, level it, smooth it, that sort of stuff. And then, yeah, we finish off with the cows. So you can see the different types here. I'm going to go with this type buy some of those and there they are so there is a very quick and brief overview of the animals and in fact that is a very brief overview of FS22 but unfortunately the time has come to conclude this video now I know it's been a bit quick fire not really spending much time on each thing I just can't do for the first look video. That's why it's called a first look. It should really be called quick look. But anyway, as I've been saying throughout this video, I've got a series, many series actually, starting today. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, lots of videos to come. I'm gonna be showing this game off. Um, 
loads, so there's a lot to see. I've barely even touched on the tractors. Uh, there's so much stuff to buy. Like I said, I'm going to do some garage tours, take a look at all the different tractors in each category, and um, yeah, there we go. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and until the next video, see you again soon. Bye for now.